surfing in a whole new light and ultimately do something that would really blow people's minds. It's our ultimate short. We put it on our ultimate surface in front of 52 cameras in a leading technological way that showcases the innovation that we have in our product and our thinking. Working with the guys from Time Slice was pretty incredible. The idea that you could experience, experience a space in three dimensions more than one view at a time. They developed the technology that um, they call bullet time, which you've seen in the Matrix. How can I do that in a way which creates an artwork? So the idea of camera array began. They'd worked in water before, they'd taken it and filmed great white sharks jumping out of the ocean, eating seals, but had never filmed surfing. To bring the two together was, um, was something that they were really excited about and the results are um, something that the team's really excited about. The Mirage is the most technical board short that we have in the range. For a core surfer who surfs every day, lives in his board shorts and needs something super functional. We wanted to really reflect that technology with the way that we portrayed it in the visuals. So SDL is our stitchless program, so it's 100% stitchless seams in all the critical areas of the board short. And when you combine that with the super stretch fabric ES3, you get a really good product. So we're using the best technology we have just to create the best board show possible. Now we've got the technical side of our, our product absolutely wide. Now it's about having the coolest looking board, technical board shorts in the market because ultimately that's what you want when you're in the water. You know, you want to look good, you want to feel good. Time slice technology applied to surf. When that inquiry first came in, I thought, wow, brilliant, fantastic, let's do it. And then my thought immediately after that was, how'd you do that? As, as the camera view goes along. We had a uh, 52 camera array and uh, we had a trigger system that could trigger the cameras all at the same time, all sequentially, so one after another. But the guys were looking for a particular kind of frozen moment in all of this. Uh, the blue, dark blue, light blue line, yeah? Yeah. You're aiming to be on that, on that line. Yep. Dark blue, light blue. And just a little bit this side of the bubbles. Okay. Yeah, that'll be sweet. And we had a bunch of uh, kind of computers and software uh, at the back end to allow us to manage the data as we took shots to download stuff and also to play stuff back. So the guys at Rip Curl and the surfers could see, you know, exactly what they were getting in the can as it were when, when we were turning over. Next, just flaring up like a hemorrhoid. Jesus. That's what we were for, right? Did you see that? Even though we were in a wave pool, uh, we had a lot of different elements to deal with. The winds have just turned on shore. That's a storm. I'm not sure if I like the chances of getting up waterproof. All right, I'll just keep talking to Noah. This is cool. <laughs> um, and it probably rained for four hours. The most heavy rain I've ever seen. Water and electricity don't mix very well, do they? And although we had the rig covered, um, we had six computers housed in a shackled up little tent and slowly one by one the water seeped in and computer one went down, computer two went down until we had to turn the power off to all of them and just hope that we had some left when the rain finished. But we've lost the laptop, hard drive, a couple of cameras. Nothing on hub five. Uh, I think we had a 52 camera rig and uh, my brother got electrocuted 52 times. We're finding where all the uh, rain went. It's kind of snuck into all the cables and uh, the nicks and crannies of our camera array. So as all, all good things work out, the crew from the pool turned all the lights on. Um, we got the rig fired back up and we had a fantastic night session that again, the, um, the boys from England had never achieved a night shoot with time slice technology. 
So the images from then were, were unbelievable and you can see in Steph's clip um, the point of difference that we have shooting at night. The best thing about this campaign was it really um, really showed surfing in a completely new light. Um, I mean the, the end results were, were actually quite mind blowing. It really showcased the performance of the board short, showcased the team's performance and tied the two together really well. I really get a buzz out of doing things that I haven't done before, you know. So uh, I'm really looking forward to where we and Rip Curl can, can take this.